What's up? What's up, guys? So, I was listening to my business mentor talk about some things earlier, and it just inspired me to just write out just this whole thing I wanted to talk about with you guys uh, because I couldn't get it out on video right when it was happening. Uh, but I also don't want to make you guys read it <laughs> when I can tell you about it. So I'm going to read a little bit of what I wrote and then riff on that a little bit. So it's really awesome because my business mentor, she and I are just so similar in so many ways that listening to her just sort of riff on get the download on some things that were going in her going on in her life just listening to that I was sitting there being like this is exactly what my intuitive lifestyle course is about and exactly some of the things that that were coming to me while I was listening to her talk I was like dude I need to talk about this because this is so much what my intuitive lifestyle course is about so Having a solid foundation is so intuitively about moving, hold on, that's not right, <laughs> spell check. So having a solid foundation is so important when it comes to being able to intuitively move wherever you need to in life. Go with the flow in general, especially with as little upset as humanly possible or at any one time in your life. And the more and more you get this foundation and the more and more you learn to trust yourself, the less upset you will get about things and, and by things in general. People are always waiting for someone to tell them What's next? What to do? And this is what I help my clients build is a healthy foundation so that they can sit with themselves and figure out what's next for them without the fear of needing someone else to tell them what to say next because they know, my clients know, they've got this. Um, I said, um... <laughs> and that's be they know they've got this because their foundation is so strong in trusting themselves in their decision when it comes to their decision making skills rather than needing someone else to make those decisions for them so between the two styles of my parents that I had I learned this from a very young age and it's helped me I've learned this foundation from a very young age and that's helped me to always be able to handle myself in any situation whether I'm prepared for it or not it's funny that I live with two guys um, and so often do they come to me one of them one of my roommates calls me his Annie app um, because I have just been set up with this foundation for life that whether I actually already know something or not, I am always confident that I can handle myself in any situation and can do just about anything. Whether I need help or not, I can at least come to it and figure it out from there. I'm always teaching my friends something about how to be an adult these days in some way. And it's because I'm never scared to face a situation I've never been in before. Because I have this solid foundation of knowing how to take care of myself. And trusting that I know how to do the research on my own. Trusting that I do know that if I need help, I can ask for it and trusting that I know when I do and do not need help and when help would just make things easier and when it wouldn't. Um, and because this is a part of that foundation being so solid in knowing I'm capable, 
because knowing I'm capable is so, so important and part of that self-esteem that comes with being able to ask for help without it affecting my self-esteem or pride. Even if I don't really need help, I know when to ask for help just because it would make things easier. And so it's all sort of a cycle of being taught how to do things and then being able to do them on your own and being taught how to do things so that you can recognize when it is or isn't necessary to ask for help and when it is and isn't necessary to get help because it would just make something or you know it when you can ask for help just because it would make it easier versus when you ask for help because you actually really need help versus not needing the help at all and having that foundation of that self-esteem and that foundation of knowing that you can do things on your own even if you don't need to without it ever hurting your pride without it ever affecting your self-esteem so what this looks like once you have a strong foundation is why I called my course the intuitive lifestyle course because I can ask myself and my, you know, I have my clients ask themselves, does this feel right to me? And it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. I know I know how to do the research, like I said, on my own, how to have, or sorry, I don't have, so I know how to not have to care about or need anyone else's say so for whether or not it's good for me. I can intuitively in any situation come to it and I don't have to ask anybody else is this good for me. I don't have to take anybody else's advice on whether or not this is good for me. I can look at it and either know how to do the research on my own if I'm not sure, know if I do need to, who I can ask and trust, who my trusted circle is, like I talk about, where I can trust that they actually have an open mind in my best interest if I'm going to ask them a question like that. But for the most part, be able to make those decisions on my own and know how to make those decisions on my own. And, you know, this includes things like eating like is a great example of this how I eat throughout the day I don't eat if I'm not hungry like I don't have necessarily set meals at this point that I eat you know we usually eat dinner at dinner time because it's usually our one meal of the day but throughout the day from the time I wake up to the time I go to bed I am intuitively deciding based on whether or not I'm hungry or based on, on whether or not I think I'm gonna get hungry and won't have an opportunity to eat at that point, whether or not I'm going to eat. I don't eat just because someone's given me a diet to work with. You know, this includes what I eat. Um, you know, whether I'm gonna eat a salad or a steak or donuts or a medical medium detox smoothie. Like, I intuitively, and this is just a simple example of how I intuitively go throughout my day deciding what's good for me because I can stop and ask myself okay what do I need right now is this nourishing me is this good for me does it matter <laughs> it always matters whether or not it's good for you I guess in that sense but you know is it bad for me and how bad for me is it should I should should or shouldn't I do this and not needing to ask anybody else's opinion on that. It's all about, you know, if it feels right for me. And having that foundation, like I said, of knowing that I, without anybody else's help, have the foundation to do that, to go with the flow throughout my day and intuitively live my life 
because I built that foundation. And you know, this is what my this is what I teach my clients. To have the foundation and then how and then to know how to listen to one's own barometer, how to listen to themselves because they know they have this foundation too is what I do for my clients and what I'm bringing to this course. And I'll give you another example because I also need to talk about this really quickly before I <laughs> run out of my time limit here on IGTV. But another example of this is that um, self-care retreat that I have been advertising for a little while. Unfortunately, that may not take place. And if it does take place, it may take place at a different time. But anyway, that is all up in the air right now. And because of a lot of different things going on right now. So before I was going full force on, you know, telling everybody about how something was and now things are up in the air and like I was sort of saying in the beginning because I have this foundation that I've built for myself another great example of this is that I don't have to care about what anybody else's think I'm going to come to you guys and be like hey by the way which I'm doing right now the retreat the self-care retreat that I've been advertising isn't going to be happening the way we planned. Stay tuned for further information. And know within myself that I can go with the flow of life and not be upset that something I had committed to is now going to have to be not how I presented it to the rest of the world and not feel bad about that, not worry about how other people are going to see that because I know within myself that I've built this foundation for myself to come to you guys and be like, hey, sorry by the way, which this is my way of doing that <laughs> through this example. The self-care retreat is we don't know if it's going to be one day. It sounds like it's going to be postponed at this point just because there have been with lots of things going on in the world right now as we know uh, some hiccups and stuff like that with it so you know I could have gotten really upset with the fact that I put all this time and effort for instance into advertising for it um, you know creating stuff for it uh, the fact that I have been telling people and that something is going to happen and now I have to, you know, to some people, they take things like this and make, they feel like it's going again, going back on their word because they're so hell bent on making sure that they, anything they commit to happens 100%. And part of this intuitive lifestyle, learning to go with the flow, is being able to recognize that shit happens <laughs> and knowing that you're coming from that place of I've done my best is all we can do in this world we can't control everything but what we can control is ourselves so having that foundation to move forward with this is what makes it so that I can show up and be like I've done my best this is what's going on and not get upset by it so yeah, that's what I have to say. It is time for me to get ready to leave to go see one of my in-person clients. Much love, guys. I will get back to you if I have any information about the self-care retreat. Um, but at this point, it looks like it's going to be postponed or, you know, canceled for now. And sign up for my intuitive lifestyle course in the meantime the cart is closing july wednesday july 1st so there are only a couple of spots left get in while you can